Hey guys, welcome to another video. In today's video, I'm going to be going over my February perfume tray. You know, with these perfume trays, I really want to be more consistent in 2024 so that I can get to know many of my fragrances all over again. Um, because in 2024, I really want it to be a year of low to no buy. And when I say that, what I mean is like maybe getting a fragrance for Valentine's Day, my birthday, Christmas, Mother's Day, anniversary, uh, something like that. Not just chasing the latest and the greatest, more so loving on what I currently have in my collection and creating memories with them. Before we get into the fragrances for this tray, if you are a returning subscriber, welcome back. If you are a new viewer, welcome in. Consider joining the family by clicking on the subscribe button, turning on your notifications, and thumbs up in this video, letting me know that you do like my content. So first up, I do have Lancome Eat All, the OG. This is truly a gem in my collection. It is such a classic scent. It's an easy reach, like everyday scent, a crowd pleaser. It's very fresh, soapy, musk like rose it can really be a signature scent as well it screams like um i'm a stay-at-home mommy uh, it's just so beautiful to me next we have supreme vanilla from zara i absolutely love this fragrance like when i first purchased it i loved it at first sniff but i have not given it enough love you know how fragrances get lost in your collection and this is one of them uh, the eight note in this fragrance gives it that edgy, niche-like quality. This is actually stunning. And let me tell you, I have had this fragrance since it released, and it has gotten better over time. It is stronger. This is good, good. So I had to add this to the tray because I'm still trying to get some wear out of it to give like a full dedicated review. This is Love Explosion from Zara. There is a first impression video for this fragrance on my channel. I will try to link that for you. But this is a cross between Rose Gourmand and Red Temptation. It is absolutely stunning. I do love it. This is Christian Serrano's Au Naturel. I do love this fragrance. Like I got this fragrance in December and really have not pulled for it. Although there is a dent in it. Um, this is gorgeous. I never heard of this brand until I went into the department store. But this is a well-balanced fruity floral that's slightly musky and slightly powdery. Although it's a sensual scent, this is a compliment getting fragrance. It's so feminine and perfect for any occasion. You know, not too much, not too little. It's just enough. Absolutely stunning. This is one of those scents that you didn't know you needed. And I'm so glad to have it in my collection. All right, guys. So this fragrance, Amouage Guidance. For me, this was love at first sniff. I absolutely love this fragrance. Just say beast mode in a bottle, longevity in a bottle, powerhouse in a bottle. To me, this scent is so addictive. Now, one or two sprays is all you need. You do not need to go any heavier than that. Please don't. It's definitely a love or hate type of fragrance. Although this was a blind buy for me and it was a successful one, I do not recommend anybody blind buying this fragrance. This fragrance, in my opinion, is so hard to describe, but it's just gorgeous. This is definitely a masterpiece. If you want to make a statement, if you want to, you know, garner attention, then put this fragrance on. Next up is Gabrielle Chanel. So I'm going to add this one to my tray because I want something that's pretty feminine and kind of soft and also inoffensive. And that is what this fragrance is for me. I think she is definitely the definition of quiet luxury. And this, of course, is in my opinion, just so elegant and sophisticated. I have not used it in a long time. So I'm super excited to, you know, get reacquainted with it and put this on my tray for this month. Um, this was my signature scent for a long time and then I kind of put it away and chose something different. But I do need to go ahead and run through this bottle um, because I've had it for a while. So I'm adding Gabrielle by Chanel to my tray for this month. Next I have Bon Bon Pop by the House of Oud. Listen, I know I say this a lot, but 
oh my gosh i so love this fragrance this is a sweet musky creamy fruity um bomb like it is gorgeous and the fruit that comes out most on my skin it will be the peach and i just absolutely love it it is so addictive it is so delicious uh, and when it dries down it's the most creamiest musky peach oh, it's just good but you have to love musky or heavy musky scents in order to enjoy Bon Bon Pop from the House of Oud. Next, we have Marc Jacobs Decadence. Listen, this one is another stunning fragrance. This is also a gem that's in my collection. I really don't use this one that often because it is discontinued. Sometimes it does make an appearance like on the discounter sites. And if I can find it again, I'm most certainly going to get me a backup bottle. But this fragrance is so elegant. You know, it's charming. It's bossy. It's a bit mysterious. You know, it's dominant. It's so darn good. Like, it's, it's an earthy fragrance, though. So you do have to love that earthy undertone. Um, but it's beautiful. It's a plum note done so well. And I absolutely adore this fragrance. So next up, we have Burberry Goddess. Listen, so this is one of those fragrances that I actually just sat down. You know, it was completely that It Girl fragrance last year when it was released. And let me tell you, it really is a beautiful and stunning fragrance. But you know how you get caught up in like the moment and you just buy the fragrance. You spray it a couple of times and you're like, oh my gosh, this is so gorgeous. And then it gets pushed to the back of the pile. That is what happened with this fragrance. When I sprayed it trying to figure out what I was going to put on this tray, I was like, oh my gosh, you know, why did I do that? But that happens sometimes. So that's why I say 2024 is going to be that year for me to love on what I currently have in my collection and try to just, you know, run through some of what I have and not just chase that next thrill. But Burberry Goddess to me is a very soft, cozy, beautiful lavender vanilla. It's not basic in my opinion at all. I do have a dedicated review on it on my channel. Um, it is kind of heavy on the vanilla though, it's a, but it's a heavenly vanilla, right? Very pleasant. And in my opinion, not cloying at all. And I'm so glad to add this to my tray this month. This was another one that was kind of hyped up last year and I fell for the hype and then pushed it to the back after some time. Again, I really don't want to do that going forward. I just want to just love what I currently have. But in my opinion, you know, Donna Pink PP is an absolutely beautiful fragrance. I get the original Donna DNA for sure in this fragrance. To me, this is really good. It is a much sweeter version of the OG and the orange blossom shines brighter. Uh, I can't say it enough. It is so good. And I'm so glad I snagged this one because I believe it is a discontinued fragrance now and they're not bringing it back. And I'm glad to have it in my collection. All right, guys. So in addition to the fragrance tray that I have for the month of February, I do want to add these as well. So this will give me some variety and also it'll give me the ability to use up some like stragglers. You know, you have those fragrances that don't have much left in the bottle, but you still let them stick around. And also I'll run through some of my samples. Like I have a lot of samples here I wanted to run through as well and kind of experience. So I'm going to add the rest of this Baccarat Rouge to my tray. It's not very much in there. I do want to go ahead and run through that a little bit. I'm going to add this um, Deja Vu White Flower from Kayali and also Sweet Diamond Pink Pepper from Kayali. This is Luminous by Bath & Body Works. There's not much left in that. I don't know why I'm holding on to it. And this is Chloe Nomad. You guys can see there's really not anything left inside this. Probably about one day's wear and that'll be gone. Then I have Fenty Eau de Parfum there that'll probably be gone this month as well. Ellis Brooklyn Myth. Um, I want to go ahead and get rid of that. And then I do have the remaining of a bottle of Rose Vermont by Zara. So I'm going to add this to my February perfume tray to try to get rid of this as well out of my collection. Um, just to kind of narrow it down because it's really taking up space and it also, again, it provides variety. Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video because I enjoyed making this one and reconnecting with many of my fragrances in my collection. Let's connect in the comments about the fragrances you want to put some focus on this month. I would love to know.
If you are a returning subscriber, welcome back. If you are a new viewer, welcome in. Consider joining the family by clicking on the subscribe button, turning your notification bells on so that you are notified whenever I do upload a video. And until next time, bye.